Now, Mr. President, on another matter, obviously much of Washington's focus this week has been on doing right by our veterans. That's exactly what we should be doing. We owe so much to the men and women who protect us. And in that spirit, I'd be remiss if I failed to acknowledge an important milestone just reached by one of America's most famous veterans. Today, our nation's 41st president, George H.W. Bush, turns 90. It's a rare milestone. Only four other presidents have ever reached it. Herbert Hoover, John Adams, Gerald Ford, and the man President Bush once served under, Ronald Reagan. And beyond wishing him a very happy birthday, I want to acknowledge President Bush's extraordinary record of service. On his 18th birthday, the future president volunteered as a World War II Navy pilot, going on to receive the Distinguished Flying Cross for bravery. From there, he'd go on to excel in a dizzying number of fields. As a businessman, a congressman, a diplomat, CIA director, leader of his party, vice president and president, commander in chief during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Even his post-presidency has been marked by a continuing and gracious willingness to serve. Yet for all of his professional distinction, I know President Bush's favorite job never appeared on his resume. It was his role as proud husband to Barbara, who also turned a year older this week and as the father of five adoring children and the proud grandfather and great-grandfather. Maybe that's why every time you see him these days, he's always got a big smile on his face and a lively pair of socks on his feet. With a loving family like that, it's not hard to see why. So I'm proud to have co-sponsored the resolution we passed yesterday honoring this good man and former president for such a long lifetime of service. And I know my colleagues join me in sending President Bush the warmest of birthday wishes.